Ay. Subscribe. Welcome back to One Box Each. That's show on the channel where we open up one box of the most recent set, build a deck using the cards we pull, and go head to head against Andrew, who does the exact same thing. Today we're opening up Dawn of Majesty. No idea how this is gonna go. Maybe we can get like a, a Stardust strategy going. Although I don't really know if it works with our actual Stardust. And of course, <laughs> that's a Starlight Rare. We can only pray, right? Uh, otherwise, we have Bee Troopers in here. We also have, um, I mean, a little Despia engine could be cool, but I kind of doubt that's gonna happen because it's all high rarity, basically. We do mostly get a play set of all the commons out of a single box, I believe. So it's really gonna come down to the hollows. I honestly can't remember if there's like good generic stuff in here. I've opened two boxes so far and pulled the Iris Sword Soul in both boxes. So let's see if we can get that play set as well. That would be funny. Uh, but yeah, let's just dive right in and figure out what comes out the other end. All right, starting things off, we have Gusto Vadir. Anomaly, oh yeah, <laughs> we're not gonna care about the comments. I literally just said that, dude. Our first holo, oh my God. <laughs> Dramaturge of Despia. All right, so we can just tribute summon this, I guess, at the very, very least. If it's used as fusion material, we can special summon it back. So we need to pull the field spell for Despia, and then we could hopefully potentially get this out. I do think it might require us pulling a Luber though. One of our four ultras, unless we have some weird ass box. What else do we have? Trickstar Festival, just special summon two tokens. I guess that's a decent kind of like stall cards in a way. We're not gonna be able to link them off because we don't have any other Trickstar cards in here and it does restrict you. But um, yeah, just summon two tokens. Build a wall, I suppose. Next up, we have Link Apple. Uh, yeah, that's that's really not going to do anything for us. Yo, we could actually do the Magic Keys as well. Just like 1900, 1900's pretty good. We could probably like main deck this. What else do we have in here? Despian Tragedy. Okay, I think a lot of the Magic Key stuff's kind of low rarity. So that's actually a possibility. What else are we rocking? Oh, Sacred Scrolls of the Gizmec Legend. Our first secret rare. God, this is so weird. It looks like hollow shifted. Just the way the art is done. Yo, can we play this? I think all the Gizmex are low rarity, so we need to pull all the Gizmex super rares. That's actually not bad, not bad. I think this is pretty good as well. Oh, there's definitely some interesting things we can do here. Okay, I think this is gonna be fun, actually. Yo, this pack feels way lighter than the others. The heck? Oh, maybe it's a starlight, baby. Maybe, oh my God. Oh dear. Ah. Uh. God, it's so difficult to open. What is this? Whoa. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> Holy, what actual God pack, dude. Nord VPN. When this card is activated, you can apply each of the following effects simultaneously. Protect your data, negate all other hacker effects, change your location. Was it Zodiac Barrage? Oh my god, that's so good! Yep, securing your data online is super important in this day and age, especially if you're traveling and using multiple different networks and hotspots, and with Master Duel just around the corner, it's probably a good idea to get it sorted. Not only that, being able to change your location is incredibly useful. Me and the missus have recently started watching a bunch of animes across loads of different streaming platforms, but some aren't available in the same country or only go up to a certain episode or whatever, so changing locations allows us to easily access the episodes we'd otherwise probably miss out on. That's actually insane. God, I wonder how much this goes for. Wow, that's, that's a great question. You can get 73% off a full two-year plan and four extra months free by going to nordvpn.com slash revs cards, which works out to be like £2.35 a month, which actually is a pretty good deal. Yo, we're actually just gonna win. Andrew is going down, dude. Oh my god. And it's all thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. What else are we rocking in here? I really hope we can pull off the Despias, man. Uh, oh yeah, we have Sioux ships as well. Digusto Laplampilica. Oh my god, that's such a weird one to say. Um, I think all the Sioux ships are like common. Ish, so we could maybe play Sioux ships. Oh my god, it's gotta be a Sioux ship mirror. <laughs> oh god. Oh yo, the Sioux ships would work with the the trap cards. That's so good. We got another Link Apple. I don't think Does that go. Can we even use that like at all? I got no idea. Yo, we're going Sioux ship magicy. Unless we have all the Despia stuff. All right, what else do we have? Oh my God, we actually did it. Oh, we actually. 
actually have a louver. Yo, does it still say Despia? Damn, dude, European print, unbelievable. Yo, we can actually get a Despia engine going. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, we're totally winning. Come on, what else can we get? There's another Ultra. Oh, we need the Fusions. Duh. God, we, okay, we need to pull the Fusions. Oh, <laughs> that's a Fusion, but it's not the Fusion. A couple of Xyz. Two level six monsters, that's generic. Don't think we can make it, though. Oh my god, dude. Come on, we need to pull uh, Qeritus. What else do we have? B Trooper Formation. Yo, Field Spell, Field Spell, let's go. That is a... We need three of these, at least. B Trooper... B Troopers would have only really been playable if we pulled the Secret Rare, Scout Buggy, along with... Um, I mean, I guess that's it. The Ultra is, like, possible to summon, I suppose. I don't know, dude. What else do we have? Pendulum Treasure. Not going to be building or playing Pendulums. Um, I'll be on the Shrouded Dragon. Yes, okay. All right, we are totally building Despias. Oh, my God. Oh, Branded Opening would be really good as well, actually. Uh, Digusta La Plampilica. Sure, why not? Ready Fusion, maybe? Question mark? Yeah, no, we fooled our two secrets. Unless we pull more than a... Uh, Unless we get like a super god box with more than two secrets, then yeah, we're not getting ready fusion. Tragedy, uh, Tindangle, Adamancipator, Rock. Very cool. Yo, we got Wall Street, Goki Feet. Nice. Dispatch Parazzi. We're about halfway, halfway ish. We get Live Twin, Sunny Snitch. Really good card, but that's the only Live Twin card in here. If I remember correctly. No, I think we, there's an Ultra as well. Um, we have Chronomaly Vimana. This is two level five monsters generic. That's not a terrible card, actually. Yo, Beast King Unleashed, isn't this generic? Oh, we could play that as well. Oh my God, there's actually quite a lot of potential here. Not gonna lie. We still need to, we have two more ultra slots. We need to Qeritus, please. Uh, Magicky Gun, yep, Gun. Okay, that's the fusion spell for Magickies. Can you search that? I'm sure there's a way to search that. So that's actually, that's good as well. But we still haven't pulled any of the fusions for Despia. Come on. One's a super rare, the other's an ultra. There's another uh, fusion field spell. Gizmek Arakami. We got the Gizmek Pumba. But we can't pull Dramaturge and a Lure just to like not be able to do anything with them. That's so unfortunate. Oh, branded opening. Okay, please give us the fucking fusions, dudes. We're actually gonna get cucked here. There's one more ultra spot. It has to be Despian Curiritus. Gizmek and Naba. All right, okay. We do have the Gizmek secret, so pulling a bunch of the Gizmeks is quite good as well. All right, fusion, please. Nope, we have Despian comedy, so that's good for our Despia stuff. Literally four packs left. Please, give us a fusion. Uh, nope, we get B Trooper Scale Bomber. That is 2k defense, and uh, it's also a Ghost Ogre. So that could be useful. Maybe. Fusion. Wait, where's the hollow? Oh, <laughs> another rock. Great, God damn it. All right, so one of these is an ultra and the other is probably a super. Come on, please be purple. Oh my God, dude, Grand Sulfur Chord Musicia. Or, you know, however you want to say that. What the heck? Two Pandula monsters? Yeah, it's just completely unsummonable. Unless. Unless. <laughs> Yo, just double up on Pazazule. All right, final pack. Can we get... I mean, it has to be Priskinian. Please? Be purple? Are you serious, dude? Oh, my God. <laughs> we pulled Dramaturge and the Luber and Branded Opening to not be able to make any of the fusions. Oh, that's sad. Okay, right, I don't know how this is gonna go anymore. I guess we'll go find out. All right, we have our full deck list made for Dawn of Majesty here. We actually have a full extra deck and a little bit of a side deck as well. So let's get into it, shall we? Of course, the main and most consistent engine we're probably both gonna be running is the Sioux ships. So we do, of course, have the three normal monsters. We have the three 
effect monster. This uh, excavates the top three of your deck, and if you excavate a Sioux Ship, it special summons it to the field, I believe. We also have triple of the field spell. So if you have this live, and then you normal or special summon a Sioux Ship, you can stack another Sioux Ship from your deck to the top. So say you normal summon this while the field spell is live, you can stack this, then excavate it and special summon it to the field. This can also just special summon itself to the field if you already control the normal monster. So uh, lots of ways to turbo out the rank four. And to keep things consistent, we also play three of the trap here which is basically a pot of duality for the monsters and uh to really hammer home the sioux ship play we also run two copies of monster assortment so uh yeah that's 14 cards in total for the sioux ships now if we can pull that off and get the rank four onto the field Boom, we have three of the Chronomaly Trap. So this targets an Xyz monster you control and specials two Chronomaly monsters from hand, deck, or graveyard, and then you can immediately overlay them into a rank five. So uh, we were playing two copies of the Chronomaly monsters. These are bricks, but this can special them from hand. This can special them from anywhere. So even if you open them, it's not completely dead. So our real power play is getting out the rank four and the rank five, and then you basically just win from there. But uh, moving on, we go into our magic -y plays. So we have triple of our normal monster here, 1919, really nice. Might as well play the ritual, because if we get this out, then that's gonna be cool. We of course have one of the gun. This is basically a fusion and a ritual in one, and you can also send a material from deck if you control a normal monster. Of course, this is a normal monster. This is a normal monster, very good. And two magic -y duo. This is basically two more copies of this, except a lot worse. You have to revive a normal monster from your grave to then actually go ahead and fusion or ritual. But uh, yeah, that's why we're on two instead of three. Also running two copies of the DDD. Different Dimension Derby. If we control a Ritual Exceeds Synchro Link Monster that used a normal monster as material, we can just banish one card in the field. Insane. Also only playing two of these, you know, because it does require that little bit of setup rather than having the three. Going on to our little Despia engine here, we have one Aluber, which can of course search our branded opening, which can in the opponent's end phase, well, I mean, you can special summon from your deck at any time, but in our opponent's end phase, we can special summon Dramaturge because it has to summon in defense. And we don't want this to die because it has 3k attack. So in our opponent's end phase, we'll special summon this and then over to our turn, we can switch it to attack and have a big beater on the field. Speaking of big beaters, we also have Albion the Shrouded Dragon. And if we open this alongside a branded spell or trap, we can basically just special summon it to the field. And that's why we're playing triple branded bond probably a little bit of an iffy choice because it does nothing on its own but if you open it alongside the albion albion can discard it special summon itself to the field and then every time we see branded bond after that it's just a reborn for albion which is 2500 attack 2000 defense really really good for our final five cards here we have double link apple it's just going to be an upstart goblin for our deck and finally because we don't really have that many monsters I went for triple alien stealth buster with 1700 attack, but if it gets destroyed by your opponent's monster, it can place two alien counters onto it. And then the next turn after, you can banish this from the grave to destroy that monster. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty good form of removal as well as having 1700 attack. Also it's level four. So like say we have nothing else we can do. We can just overlay this with like clava keys to get our Sioux ship rank four. It kind of it kind of works together, hopefully. So I think that's possibly the best we could do we could maybe like tweak some ratios here and there but i think this is roughly the best sort of deck we could have made with our pools going into the extra deck we of course have our magic -y fusion which is 2200 attack really nice we also have our chronomaly exceeds monster rank 5 this is what we go into uh, this actually has a monster negate which is cool 2300 attack 2600 defense also has a quick effect to gain attack which is really nice. On top of that, we have three copies of our Sioux Ship rank four, because this is the main play of the deck MVP. And then we've just spammed the rest of the extra deck with non-Link monsters, so that we're less likely to hit any of our important cards off the Link Apple, because it does require you to randomly banish one face down from your extra deck. Now for the side deck, we have triple copies of Viking Vortex. Equip it to an opponent's monster. If they activate their effect, you can bounce that monster to the hand. So this would basically just get equipped to the opponent's Sioux Ship monster, which kind of stops its effect, which is kind of nice. And we also have Beast King Unleashed. I was going to play this over the alien because this plays around the Sioux Ship field spell but uh, I felt like we were lacking too many monsters. So I put it in the side instead. We'll see, we'll probably side it in at some point. So that's our list for today. I'm feeling pretty confident with it. Of course, Andrew's perspective and list will be up on his channel. Link in the description, go give that a peep. 
But uh, yeah, let's let's take the lead, baby. Let's get into it. Yeah, Dawn of Majesty. We're we're currently tied three three. This is for yep. the the who takes the lead as of right now until Synchro Storm, I guess, or whatever comes out next. It's like two months until the next set. It's dumb. Yeah, it's something like that. Uh, let's also like read every card. Like yes, so we're not special summoning when we can't special summon. Well, not even just that, but just to, to avoid <laughs> things like that. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be. Janky AF, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm, hey, I'm this is a main set. I love the main sets. The main sets love me. <laughs> That's true. But we're gonna we're gonna break that streak. So uh, what, what are we doing? Two dice high roll. Two dice high roll. Let's and then go. decide how we cut. Yeah. Boom. Nine. Eight. Oh, Ooh. taking the dub by one. This could be a controversial choice, but I'm gonna go second. I don't recall there being a lot of very good traps. Which, all right. Uh, all right. Good luck, have fun, brother. Good luck, have fun. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I will start with a Clavis. Wait, is that no? Oh, that's a normal oh. monster. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. 1900. Respectable. Clavius. Yep. Set one. Pass. You have a set one. Ooh. All right. I'll draw for turn. All right, all right. And go standby main. Yep. Now I'm going to refresh my memory by reading all my cards. <laughs> Give me a minute here. <laughs> I will start by activating the Suship Field spell. Oh. Gunkan, Suship Yurt, Seaside, Supper, Spot. I will then go on to normal summon Gunkan, Suship, Shari, which will oh. trigger my field spell. Yes. And that will allow me to stack a Gunkan card from deck to the top. Ikura to the top. And then I will set one and set two back row. All right. I chose to go second, saying that there's no traps, and then I open a bunch of traps, <laughs> of course. Um, Alright, battle oh, phase. He's 2k. Yep. Yeah, 2k is beefy, and I don't think there's any attack modification, so I will declare an attack into your little world legacy gun dude. Okay, um, I will declare <gasps> Glacier Aquamador in hand. Oh, fuck, okay. So I'm going to reveal him, mm -hmm. and to discard, I'm going to discard Alien Stealth Buster. Oh, I'm playing that too. <laughs> now, Alien Stealth Buster's effect, because he was sent to the graveyard, I can place out two A-counters. God, there's so many cards I need to read! And I I assume you're targeting my, my little ship here. Yes, I am. Placing two counters on this bad boy. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> my life point text somehow like... So I've taken 100, you've discarded that, I've gained two counters, and your boy is still alive. And then yep. during your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the grave, you can banish this card, target one card with eight counters, destroy it. That's so sad, dude. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, well, I, I think that's all I've got. I'll pass turn. All right, draw for turn. Yeah. Um, I will banish the alien stealth buster. Yeah, destroying my little ship. Yes. Unfortunate. I will normal summon Gunkan Sh Shoe Ship. Oh my god, you're going all out. Effect. Gunkan Shoe Ship Ikara in hand. Uh, special summons from hand, right? Yep. You know what? Just for the lols, I'll use his effect. Stealth Buster. Gunkan Shoe Ship Daily Special. And Amazement Dahlia. Unlucky. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Oh, oh, oh my god, imagine getting the OTK. That would be so dumb. It, it would have been possible, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my god. Overlay. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's so good as well. Yep, because I use the two uh, the two ships. It means he gets double attacks, and, you and I get to draw a card. Yeah. Attempt to move battle phase. I will punch for twenty two. Oh my god, it's got twenty two. I thought I had two k. It has twenty two. Um, this card can make a second attack during each battle phase. Yep. Okay, I will take all of it. Yep. So twenty two, uh, twenty two, and nineteen hundred. God damn. <laughs> Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> All right, are you proceeding to the end phase? I am proceeding to the end phase. Oh, all right, I know what my top deck is, so there is a chance that we bring this back. I will draw for turn. Yep. I will go standby main. I will normal summon Gunkan Suship Ikura. Trigger the field spell in the normal summon. Yes. And that allows me to stack another Suship. So that goes to the top of the deck, and then we activate Ikura to excavate three. No response. Yep. No response. Boom, boom, boom. Of course, we special summon. The ah, the duo. So you got at least one of the fusions or the rituals. Did I? Maybe well, I yeah, otherwise you wouldn't be running the fusion or the ritual spell. <laughs> Maybe I just didn't read what duo does. 
Actually, to be fair with you, it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we better pop off, baby. I'm going to activate Monster Assortment. So I will reveal Ikira and my third, Sushup Shari. One, two, three, the left one. So I'm adding this one. Yes. And this gets shuffled back into the deck. Please tell me I sniped the normal monster. That would be very cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to overlay these two. Yes, boy. For my Sushi of Ixies, triggering yep. its effect to draw one and gain an additional attack. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Draw one card. That's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. But uh, I don't know if you got this combo. I will activate Chronomaly Esperanza Glyph, the little Easter egg thing targeting my Xyz monster. Do you know what this does? No, I didn't run that, actually. Ooh, okay. So, during the main phase, target one Xyz monster card you controller in your graveyard. Special summon two Chronomaly monsters that are one level higher than that monster's rank from your hand, deck, and or graveyard, but negate their effects. Then immediately after this effect resolves, Xyz summon one Chronomaly Xyz monster using only those two monsters. Oh, Yeah, no, I didn't run that because I didn't get any... I don't think I got any Chronomaly Xyz. Uh, yeah, it was it was a hollow. So we're going to summon our Chronomaly Big Neck and our Chronomaly Other Giraffe thing, and then immediately overlay these two for Chronomaly Vimana. Ooh, Ultra. Now this thing is a monster. So once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can detach two materials from this card, negate the activation. That. Now that is nasty. We got a monster negate, boys, although it doesn't destroy, which is kind of unfortunate. This is the comeback, dude. From here, I'm going to go with the battle phase. Right. I will declare an attack with a Vimana over your Sioux ship. It's 23 into your 22. On declaration? Oh, no. Beast King unleashed. Actually, no, it's at the start of the damage step, even. So you're just lucky that I placed it in the same goddamn column. Yeah. All right, hold your hold your horses here. Yeah, no, that that's all fine, unfortunately. Some materials go to grave, and they both go back to the hand. That's fine. It's still out your thing. I will attack over your little normal boy for three hundred damage. Protect. Discard another card. Okay, and I will attack it again for three hundred damage. Oh, it's by, by that battle. Damn. Yeah, get <laughs> fucked, asshole. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't think that's live. Here's <laughs> me thinking I'm dominating the game, you just make hell of a comeback. I'll set a back row and pass turn. Alright, come on now, come on now, come on. Top deck of the century, draw turn. I don't know what you could draw here. Yeah. Uh, not that at least. <laughs> set one. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm gonna set it there. Okay. Pass. <laughs> that's all I can do. Sure. I'll draw for turn. Yep. I will normal summon my normal sushi. And I will trigger my field spell to stack. Stacking my Xyz monster to the top. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Stacking Xyz? Dude, what the fuck are you on? <laughs> yeah, I I'm just cheating. Seeing if I can get away with it. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I cure it to the top of the deck. Very nice. And I will go battle phase. Yep. 2-2. Two, 2,000. Two. 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> so 64 in total. Puts you on 900. <laughs> I need a big top deck, boy. I Are will. You yeah, I'll pass turn. Good luck. Draw your last pathetic card. <laughs> <laughs> Trickstall Festival. Special two tokens. Yep. Well, shit. Yeah, it's fine. But I cannot special or normal summon for the rest of the turn. Yeah. Except Trickstar Monsters. Yep. But that's fine because I'm going to tribute. Set. Playing around the restriction, and I know what that is. I just need to read it. 3,000 defense! Yep! <laughs> the fuck level 6? <laughs> okay, no. I, I'm I'm reading that Trickstar card again. <laughs> 3,000. How am I going to out this? Have fun! <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll draw for turn. Yep. Stand by main. Yep. I'll activate Ikuria's effect to special summon itself. Yes. Because I control the normal monster. I will then overlay these two, not in any monster's columns, into my second Xyz monster, and I will activate effect to joy card. Yes. Big! I will activate Link Apple. So, this one. Yep. 
Uh, it's a synchro. Wow, it's almost like I, I played into that. The joy <laughs> card. Ooh. Did you just find a way to out my card? Oh, baby! <laughs> I'm going to set a back row over here. That's fine. So I will normal summon up my own clav keys. Right. And I will go battle phase. Right. I will kill the token with this dreadnought over here. Okay, I'll use the ability of uh, Beast King Unleashed. It's not in the same column. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Your Discord is flipped. Are you... It's the same on my EDO. What? <laughs> no, it, yeah, no, it can't be because it's closest to the extra deck, so no, it can't be. Exactly. No, my, it's just my... I think my EDO is being funny. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to pass there. All right. <laughs> then I will drop turn. Yeah. Oh god, you've got 1,700 left. I have 1,700 left. One incy bitsy attack could end my life. Incy yeah, but death. I think I know what you might be sitting on. At the moment, I don't think you have something that can out this. That's uh, a hard dose of copium, my dude. I know. I'm a pass there for now. You're passing there. Yeah. All right. I'll draw for turn. Oh, oh, that feels so good. I'm gonna go standby main. I'm gonna go battle phase. I'm gonna activate DDD, Different Dimension Derby. If you control a face up monster that was ritual summoned using a normal monster or was fusion, synchro, exceeds, or link summoned using a normal monster's material, you can target one card on the field. Banish it. Get rid of that monster, my guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> what did they say? Pure copium. He had yeah, the heart. Well, that is. Um... You had the out, yeah. Boom, Woo. boom, boom. Get ran over. Yep. I could not do anything about that. <laughs> I love how I'm on black and you're on white. It's like yin and yang. I know, right? I will you're go second. Second, go for that card advantage. All right. Good luck. Have Good luck, fun. Brother. Oh. oh my god. What is this hand? <laughs> I'm thinking the same thing. I don't know if it's good or bad, though. I'm once again going to start by activating my Suship Field Spell. Normal summon Suship Shari and trigger my Field Spell to stack the yes. deck. I will activate my Ikura in hand to Special Summon. Ooh, you had one in hand anyway. Wow. Uh, this can add to hand, can't it? It can, yeah. Yeah. Take a Special Summon or add to hand. So I will Special Summon. I will activate Effect to excavate three. You know, I don't think... There's any board wipes, so I'm just going to special summon it. And shuffle these two. Fool, I'm going to activate my lightning storm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Where do we go from here? We overlay these two again into our dreadnought. Sailing the seven mm -hmm. seas on our sushi ship. Now we'll activate effect Allow joy card. To... Yes. Pow. Set a back row. And I will pass turn. Break my board. You pass turn, you pass turn. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 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 Um, oh, that would be so funny. Maybe I can't. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start off with the sous ship. Okay. Okay. A little bit of copycat. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a normal summon. Go and get a sous ship Ikura. Ooh, going down Triggering the sous ship. Uh, yeah, you can trigger your field spell. You can stack your deck. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> That's something nice in there. Like a shari. So I sh you shuffle and just put it on top, isn't it? Yeah. Funny thing, I actually pulled three secrets. Oh, really? But three ultras. Three secrets, though. Shit. Damn. Damn. Wow. Andrew's link in the description. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, continue. <laughs> um, I will use a Kura's effect. Yep. Excavate three is fine. Oh, what do you know? How, wow. do, how do we know that was that? Oh, you're on. Wow. I, I, I guess I'll. Oh what? Oh wow! Is this my? Guess deck? I'll just. <laughs> Guess I'll just special summon the Shari. Yep, that is fine. And then it's wait, there's no, it's back in the bottom in no, any order, right? Yeah, just you just oh, shuffle. Just shuffle. Back. No, it's shuffle. It's shuffle. Yeah. Because depending on this, the shuffle, the draw that I get, I could do something really funny. Oh god. And I really hope I get something funny. Oh god. <laughs> I'm a How do you want me to make it? Uh, go two at the bottom. Two to the bottom. Yeah. Seems I'm gonna do a draw. I'll, I'll leave you get a chance to do a cut. There's no complaints on me stacking. 
You know what? I think I get an overlay, but for what? Hmm. Yeah. Let's go for a <laughs> Sioux ship. Yeah, go, 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 cowboy. Um, effect to drop? You may activate its effect, yes. Oh, that is... That is perfect! No, really? Did I give it to you? <laughs> I will normal summon a Luba. Uh, wait, you normal summon a Kuro. Oh shit, that's right, never mind. <laughs> it doesn't wow. matter, I don't need wow, it. Doesn't you, matter. You it doesn't matter. Luber. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Despia, Theater of the Branded. Oh shit. Use the effect of Despia, Theater of the Branded. Wait, 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 wait. Before... <laughs> the fuck, I need to process this shit. Oh my god. You're ha that, oh, that fucking... Oh, I gave you this, dude. I literally somehow threw... Uh, I should have said three instead of two. During your main phase, fusion a level eight or higher using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. Go for it. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to use... Stardust Synchron. Stardust Synchron. Despian Tragedy. And a Luba. Oh, shit. Okay, that's a light, a dark, and a Luba. A Despian monster. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, it's full Frankens combo. <laughs> Despian Proskenton. Uh, pros oh shit, Proskenia. how do I out this? Oh my god. Now, I just dude. need to double check because I can also yoink your ship. Uh, if you kill it, you can, yeah. If this card is sent to the graveyard or banished by a card effect, which it is, you can add one Despian monster from your deck to your hand, except tragedy. Despian Tragedy will search me a Despian monster. I swear to god, if you pull Dramaturge, I'm so pissed. Dramaturge? Oh, fuck off, dude! <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it out, though, dude. Uh, I needed that yet. instead of the Aluba. You can't get it out yet. I'll go battle. Let me think this through properly, because there's an effect here that we've actually missed. Gunk and Su ship will attack your Shari. You're so lucky you fucking read the card, dude. <laughs> Why did you have to stop and read the cards? I will sadly take 200 damage. Also, its effect, you can target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. What would you like to target? I'll destroy your back row. Uh, yeah, you can destroy my back row. Use Despian to swing into your Gungan ship, Sioux ship. So I am going to take a thousand damage. Yeah, and then because of its effect, you're going to take... 2,200 damage in effect damage. An extra 2,200 because he's got a random ass flame wingman effect. Yep. So I am on 4 6 currently. And then punch again with Suship. Ah, uh, you remembered! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> I know you were hoping I'd forget. I am on 2 4. Go to main phase 2. Despian Proskian's ability. Taking him and putting him in this zone. That is a big yoink. Then, uh, yes, it's, it's over to you, dude. <laughs> Alright. I'll draw for turn. We're, we're going to yep. need something big here. I will draw. Interesting. Stand by main. Yep. I will activate my traps effect to Digusto Emerald. Shuffle three, draw one. Yep. Draw. Did, okay. I, did I do you the same favor you did me? Mm, not quite. Quite the opposite, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'll normal summon Akira and activate my field spell. To stack All right. Back. Stack Shari to the top. I'll activate a Cure effect. Excavate yep. three. Ooh, what do you know? Special summon the Shari. I get another draw, that's so nice. I will overlay. Yep. For a Dreadnought and activate effect, draw cards. Please, I'm honestly just digging for like survival here. <sighs> you have three, I have 24, you can attack twice. Yeah, no, that's game over. Damn it! Having played two games out, I feel like going second is the better choice. The Suship exceeds like Dreadnought is just like two attacks and having the effect to pop one. Like going second yeah. is just you can't. Yeah. Oh, but this is it. This is it. Comes down to this. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck, Game <laughs> Oh damn, that is not optimal. Oh no, this is really bad. <laughs> Set one. Set two, set three, what the set fuck? four, what the set fuck? five, pass! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> How have you smoke screened into Guru with no side deck? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, that's, that's, the, that's the surprise, I was always playing Guru. Oh my god. Alright, I really need a big rip here. I'm a draw for turn. Yep. It's not really a big rip, let's be real. <laughs> Stand by main. I don't know if I can do anything at this point. Then just pass turn, it's fine. <laughs>
I'll set a back row, and from there, I'm setting a back row and passing turn. In your end phase. Oh god, yep. Two ship daily special. Ooh, you're revealing three, right? Cool. So you're just guaranteed to add a Shari, that's fine. Yep. That it's is all out of Shari. Okay. I'm going to throw us back. Draw phase? Draw for turn, yep. Ooh. Oh. It might stun my phase because, you, you know, why the hell not? Okay. Daily special? Oh my god. Um, yeah. And I'll just do like this. I reveal the Shari. Yeah, then you can just add whatever. I uh, just. We'll, we'll sk skip a step here, but we'll just add the Ikura. Yep, that's fine. I will normal summon Shari. Yep. Effect special summon Ikura. Yep. I will overlay. Not going Actually, to the excavate. Yeah, I, I could have gone for the excavate. Oh, oh well. Dreadnought? You can summon your Dreadnought. Yeah, that's fine. Dreadnought effect? Uh, yep, draw cards. I will flip Stealth Buster. Yeah, I called it. Yep. Go battle. Yep. Dreadnought swing. As I did battle damage to you, I can destroy one card you control and destroy it. <laughs> it was a Beast King Unleashed. Achieving nothing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll swing another 22 and I'll swing a 1700. Ooh. Yep, I take it all, unfortunately. Over to you! <laughs> How did this happen? I don't understand. You went against the main set master. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't even know what I can top deck at this point because this is actual just trash. Draw! Stand by main. There's nothing I can do! <laughs> oh, I love the sound of it. I'll set one. I'll set two. I'll set a field spell and pass turn. Oh, damn. <laughs> Draw for turn? Yeah. I'm going to use the effect of Albion in hand. Uh, yeah, so you have to discard a branded spell or trap. To special spell. Or send one from the deck. Uh, mm, that would... Oh, you're doing the upstart effect. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Theater of the Branded. Sending the field spell, okay. And I draw a card. Yep. Well, let's do a bit of a snipe, just in case. Um, I will DDD. You're set closest to your extra deck that isn't your field. <laughs> so this one? Yes. Uh, that is a magic -y gun. <laughs> ah, it was a bait. Tempt to go battle phase. Yeah, battle phase is fine. I'll punch for 22. <gasps> yeah, this game. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> you was baiting me? No, okay, no, look at this, look at this. I play two of these just as garnets for this thing. Oh. I opened both of them somehow. <laughs> I opened this, they're level 5, I can't set anything. I opened this with no other Sioux ships, I opened this, and uh, this was in my hand as well. But I totally forgot, I forgot you could do the upstart effect. I was like, shit, I don't have a branded spell what would you have gotten? Hand. What would you have gotten? Um... Oh, then again, it's a shuffle and just just do it for, for the sake of it, like a set. I'm playing three shuffle of these then, just draw. as fodder to discard. See, I was playing the branded bond because it can also recycle itself with Albion. Yeah. But so this goes to the bottom. Any specific cut? Uh, just do a half. Half. There we go. Draw. Yeah. I mean, if I did yeah, that turn help. one, yeah, yeah, no, there's nothing I can do there. My other set was Beast King Unleashed, and then in hand I also had the Magic Key Mafia. Oh my, dude, our box was literally, literally <laughs> fucking identical. I am telling you, you're playing the Albion as well, but okay, I got branded opening. Did you get branded opening? Uh, no. Look, I got a Luber as well. Oh wow. And I got Dramaturge as well, so I was like, okay, normal summon a Luber, oh, search what the branded fuck? opening, summon Dramaturge in the end phase, and then boom, 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 boom. You we, Exact same fucking box, dude. What the fuck? It was such a good match until the fucking last game. What a disaster, dude. I got the Sulfur Cord Link 2 Ultra and then the Gizmax Secret. Oh, fuck off. What? I also pulled the Sulfur Cord Ultra. <laughs> what the fuck? How is our boxes the same? Yep, unfortunately we brick like a motherfucker in game three and Andrew takes the lead 4-3 for the series overall. So uh, we're gonna have to equalize in the next set, which uh, I don't actually know what it is. It's the Megatons at the end of September, I think. But we do also have Yugi's Legendary decks, so I think we might do that next. Otherwise, that's it for today. Go drop a little peep on Andrew's channel with the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.
just to slow down Fireplace to 